Another way to edit inside Practicad is to use the stretch nodes that we provide. If you go to click on a piece of duct, you will notice that Practicad will provide you with three different nodes. First, we always have the blue square node. This represents the side of the duct or the hole point that Practicad has listed in the fitting parameter box. For example, here you can see in the fitting parameter box under the fitting tab, it says we're holding it by the in and therefore the in will be the blue square. If we were to switch it to the out, you could see that the blue square will switch. Now on the opposite side of the blue square is always an arrow that points in which direction we're capable of stretching the duct. For example, if I would like to stretch the duct, I can click once with my left mouse button, pull it in the direction we want, and click again to release, or you could click once, hold it in the direction, you can see it's 70 inches, we're going to type in 15 and hit enter, so you can type in a numerical value and it'll stretch the duct in that amount. So if we would like to then take the duct on the opposite side and shrink it this way, we'd have to come up to the fitting parameter box, we'd switch the node, so that the arrow is on the other side. You can see here now we're holding it by the in, so we're capable of stretching it by the out. And now I'm going to pull this arrow in this direction. I'm going to type in 25 and hit enter. Okay, so we can edit in either direction. The last node you see are the double arrows. The double arrows have one specific function, to move a fitting or piece of duct up or down the order it is in a duct line. For example, here you can see we have a little 18 inch piece of duct. We're going to click on it. Then we're going to hold down with the left mouse button and we're going to drag this fitting to the right. Notice that it snaps to the next joint. If we now click on the button again and release, you can see that Practicad will move that fitting over. So if we wanted the little joint to be close to the elbow, we could just grab the node, hold it in the direction we want, click again to release, and now we've got that particular fitting all the way down the duct line and this should work for virtually any fitting in the software.